Hello, everybody. Welcome to Dr. Katie Math Channel. And this question is from Lhasa College, um, M2. Uh, it is a test. Uh, I mean, I'm, I mean, it is u uniform test for Lhasa College. Okay. Um, this question uh, divided into two parts. First part is using uh, mathematical induction to prove this identity and then second part is compare these two two terms which one is great and which is which one is larger okay for the first part let s n i let s n be the statement i skip all the keyword here key here only write down the uh, equation For n equal to 1, and left hand side is equal to summation k from 1 to 1. It is 1 over 1 minus 1 over 2. It is 1 over 2. And the right hand side is equal to, oh sorry, this is k. Uh, only one term here, uh, 1 plus 1 also 1 over 2, therefore S1 is 2. Assume SP is 2. That is, this statement is true for N equal to P. I only change the the index into P, okay, for S P plus 1. Then the left hand side is equal to dun 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 dun, summation K from 1 to P, 2K minus 1. Uh, this can be divided into two parts. One is uh, to P, then add extra term to P plus one. Okay. And convert this into this, this formula. And the first one is 2p plus 1. 2p plus 1 can be changed to, let me see. Yes, 2p plus 1 can be changed to p plus 1 plus p. And this this term can be changed to summation k from let me see I uh, change to p plus 1 plus k that means from 2 to yes from no no not from 2 okay I I, I, I do in other format and uh, this can be 1 plus p plus 2 plus p and then 2p, p plus p. And for the for the right hand side, for the one hand, right hand side, summation k from one to p plus one, p plus one plus k. That is one plus one plus p, and then one two plus. 
Okay, I, I, I write like this P plus 1 plus 1 and P plus 1 plus 2. P plus 1 plus 3. And until to P plus 1 plus P plus 1. That means I, I have terms here. This term equivalent to this term. Uh, the last term, the last uh, last two terms are p plus one plus p. Okay, it means these terms are equivalent to these ter terms. Therefore, I move this term to this side, and then for the circle terms the term circled is equal to summation k from 1 to p minus 1 k from p uh, 1 to p p plus 1 plus k and then group these two terms together And then make a common denominator for this uh, for the last two terms for these two terms. It becomes two p plus one, two minus one, which is equal to one. And I also uh, change the denominator to p plus 1 plus p plus 1 then finally finally okay i erase this one finally and i i, I combine these two terms which is actually equal to the right hand side of the uh, statement of and uh, p plus 1 okay therefore s p plus 1 is 2 by m i s n is two for all positive integer n okay for the second part which one is larger um, and obviously uh, this term is uh, related to this term this term also related to, to this term i first change the domain from uh, as the domain is from free to the lower bound and uh, lower limit and and upper limit of first one is five to eight I first change to 1 to something and also uh, do the same thing for the second terms. Therefore, okay, for this one, summation k from 5 to 8, 1 over 8. I using change variable, put k equal to p plus 4 yes and then this is p plus 4 and for k equal to 5 p equal to 1 that means the lower limit p is equal to 1 for k equal to 8 p equal to 4 okay then uh, finally, I change the dummy. I uh, change p to k because we will not pk. We don't want to pk. Okay, for this one, I used uh, the equation from this one, and this con can be converted to k from one to four. One over two k minus one minus uh, minus one over two k. Okay, for the second summation from 30, 30, 33 to 64. 64, okay, so sensitive. Okay, I, 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 I skip the, the detail step here. This is one from, from 1 to 32. K plus, K plus 32. 
you can check you can check uh, direct uh, actually they are uh, equal i only here change the dummy variable change the uh, lower bound and upper bound and then by using a this by using this k from 1 to 32 1 over 2k minus 1 minus 1 over 2k then compare the these two terms which one is greater uh, which one is greater and then uh, equivalent to compare these two terms therefore i use uh, that this one minus this one summation 33 from 33 to 64 minus summation from 5 to 8 1 over x that equivalent to summation from 1 to 32 minus summation k from 1 to 4 uh, 1 over 2 k minus 1 minus. okay and then and uh, as a and uh, the, the uh, the lower limb and uh, the summation side are the same and which is from 1 to 32 this is 1 to 4 then 1 to 32 minus 1 to 4 it is only have what uh, from 5 to 32 and finally I make a de uh, common denominator here which is 1 We can observe that uh, uh, all terms, all terms of this summation are positive. This uh, uh, these terms are positive. Therefore, therefore, this has greater value than this one. Therefore, the statement is not true. Okay. That is the proof for this question. Actually, this question is uh, the the difficulty of of this. I uh, have that uh, have is that difficulties, and we have uh, we cannot use calculator direct to compute these two terms. Even I I use uh, I I also use a computer uh, calculator to uh, calculate this. Uh, this uh, approximately equal to. 0 0.6345 but I can't do do that because there are too many terms here therefore we uh, I only have I only I can only use this method Theref therefore uh, actually uh, oh, okay I hope guys can can learn how to do this uh, this question okay finally please subscribe my channel bye bye